welcome back to our youtube channel anything about animals i am dr satya surin a veterinarian and an animal nutritionist in our previous video we were seeing the different ingredients which we can use instead of soya bean meal in that we have discussed about the plant sources where we discussed about the grains soil seeds and different pulses which we can use in the part 1 if some persons have not seen the part 1 please go and see the part 1 and then come back to this so that you will understand better and in this part we will be seeing the alternative plant sources like algae and duckweed and also the different animal sources like fish meal and meat come bone meal come let us see first the alternative plant sources this alternative plant sources may not go better with the large farmers it will be very well suited for the small farmers and also for the organic farmers uh, because uh, the quantity available also is very less so it can be best suited for the small farmers in small, small farmers what we can uh, uh, suggest is they can go for algae there are two kind of algae one is macro algae that is also called as sea weeds it's in uh, large algae we will get and also micro algae it's very small algae and there are more than 1000 species of algae but there are very few which we can use it in uh, animal cases like blue green algae green algae and also they are having lot of moisture content in them so we need to harvest them dry it properly reduce the moisture content and then we need to use it in the animal feed so uh, if you are using it in high, high water content the feed intake may reduce also so and there are two kind of uh, sea weeds especially brown sea weed and uh, green and uh, red type of sea weed in brown sea weed the protein content is usually less that is around 10 to 24 percentage in green and green and uh, red sea weeds the protein content will be more that is up to 44 percentage and uh, the nutrient content of these algae especially this alternative plant sources the nutrient content is very much uh, fluctuating based on the temperature based on the light source and also the water composition in which they are growing and the other ingredient uh, in alternative plant source is it's a duckweed it's a tiny free floating vascular plant on a fresh water or a a uh, brackish water which is rich in protein nucleotide minerals it's a oral combination but again the combination composition of this particular duckweed is highly fluctuate uh, highly variable based on the uh, temperature light and also the plant age also so sometimes uh, in municipality waste water whatever the duckweed is growing there we will be having around 30 to 40 percent of protein uh, duckweeds Uh, as of now we have seen all the plant sources which we can use instead of soya bean meal now let us see an animal source animal plants animal protein sources which we can use instead of soya bean meal And there are many which is already been quite famous in the poultry industry like fish meal meat come bone meal um, so first we will see fish meal fish meal we can use up to 4 to 5 percentage and um, this is very uh, much limited why because when we are using the fish meal in higher quantity uh, some kind of flavor or smell is been uh, reflected in the meat or in the egg of the uh, poultry so it is advised not to use more than 4 to 5 percentage because the fish meal is having high oil content also we sh- we should be using an antioxidant when we are using this fish meal in the feed and apart from this we can use a meat cum bone meal which is a combination of meat and bone uh, waste so it is rich in protein uh, and it is similar to that of soybean meal instead of similar to that of soybean meal we can see like meat and uh, bone meal will have a good combination of amino acid which is very particularly needed for the birds and but we have a constraint of using this uh, meat come bone meal because of i uh, contamination level so it should be a very good quality meat uh, meat come bone meal and this advantage of using meat come bone meal is they are rich in calcium and phosphorus that they have 10 percentage and 5 percentage respectively and we can use up to 5 percentage in the feed this particular uh, ingredient and apart from this some unconventional things are silk worm pupae after the silk is been extracted that uh, cocoon the inside worm uh, is been used as uh, some places they use for uh, eating also though that can also be used as a alternative protein source in case of soya bean meal so here the protein content um, that particular um, uh, larvae will have a protein content of 50 to 80% that is defattened uh, larvae should be there 
and also this is having a high lysine content high uh, methionine content and their fat is also uh, nearly less than 10 percentage and the uh, based on the age of that larvae the chitin content of that particular larvae will be very much fluctuating and one of the uh, another uh, by product which we can use instead of uh, soya bean meal uh, is hatchery by products in these breeders uh, after the breed uh, chicks is been ex- uh, uh, came out the leftover portion or the dead uh, dead embryos also the culled uh, chicks or infertile eggs which is discarded usually in the lands that can also be used with there are very rich in uh, protein minerals calcium and the constraint is they are having less phosphorus and uh, they are having high uh, f- fat content nearly 6900 kilo calories to 7000 kilo calories and when you are using uh, hatchery by products it is always advised to do an e treatment at around 73 to 75 degree centigrade to 125 degree centigrade because there will be having an avidin content in the particular uh, egg of the uh, birds which is not good for the birds and also there is a chances of microbes which would have grown in this particular waste so we should kill that microbes otherwise it will affect the performance of the birds so you need to do compulsorily you should do an e treatment uh, apart from that you can add with the uh, acid fermentation uh, one more treatment also we can do and uh, apart from all these ingredients we can use one more animal source which is an insects insects based uh, origin like grasshoppers caterpillars termites and these are all best suited for small uh, farmers and there is one more insects um, origin which is uh, which i feel is the best one is uh, bsf which is also called as uh, black soldier fly larvae so uh, it is having good amount of protein and their mineral uh, uh, content is also similar to that of the meat uh, products which we can use so in this insects um, it is seen in future it is seen it is a good it, it could be a good uh, protein source instead of soya bean meal why because and it's also good for uh, nature or environment concern why because these insects are able to convert the organic and plant waste very efficiently when compared to cows because they can do five times better than a cow because the cow takes um, these roughages uh, and green grasses and they convert into milk so when it is compared to cow the insects can do five times better than uh, the cow so it this can be used as a bio waste management also so uh, one of the best uh, uh, insects which you can use is black soldier fly and it is always advised to have a wor- worm meal larval meal In, instead of a fly why because the worm meal is very easy to harvest also in a large quantity and uh, that will be having lot of uh, protein when compared to the other uh, chitin content these are all the ingredients uh, like plant origin one alternative plant origin and animal sources which you can use instead of soya bean meal so in all these cases there are few constraints which uh, 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 keeping them not to be used in full quantity but we can use this particular uh, ingredients instead of soya bean meal for example if you are using uh, per day 1 ton of soya bean meal so then if you are able to replace only 10 percentage of soya bean meal let us take like only 100 kg of soya bean meal is been replaced by some other uh, a uh, fish meal or some other gourd meal or groundnut cake so that 100 kg you see if you are soya bean meal is 50 rupees per kg and uh, the groundnut cake or fish meal what you are using in combination for replacing 100 kg is 30 rupees for every kg of uh, this protein source you will save around 20 rupees so if you see 20 rupees if you are saving and you are using 100 kg and 2000 rupees you will be saving per ton what the soya bean meal is been used so what 2000 rupees you are using and with that there will be few negative things for this particular ingredients which you are using so you can use you may have to use some kind of uh, uh, protease enzymes some other amino acids you may have to use so if you take in the maximum scenario you can use around 1000 rupees you will spend and you will be saving 2000 rupees of course your profit is 1000 rupees so by this way you may have to uh, see what ingredients is available in the local sources based on the available ingredients in the local sources you may have to 
uh, talk to one of the nutritionist nearby and then ask advice with them about what kind of uh, precautionary measures you need to take what kind of changes you may have to do in the uh, lysine content methionine content some other enzymes uh, toxin binders which should be added and make a good uh, feed formulation for your particular farm to the ingredients which is available and then uh go for the, go for the feed formulations so what will happen here is you will reduce the ingredient cost in a drastic amount when you are seeing other ingredients by doing all these things you will have a flexibility you will not be influenced by the demand uh, which is created for the soya bean meal so this will be in uh, good oppor- uh, this will be a good information i hope so so if you uh, like this video if you like if you want to get this kind of information more in future also please ask any information if you need uh, in the comment section in particular to poultry or any animal farmings so that we will answer and to get uh, more informations like this please do subscribe to the channel anything about animals and also press the bell icon so that next when i am putting a video you will be getting a notification and i had i i request all to share this video so that uh, it will be it will be useful for the farmers because the situation is, uh, right now is like that so so i've been mill is increasing they need some other ingredient they didn't know how to do how to use it so this will be a gra- uh, great video for them and if you really like the video please um, uh, press the like button and if you have any suggestion please put it in the comment section so that we will uh, alter according to that and we will make a new video uh, thank you nandal this is dr satish suren bye